And Matt Robinson came on loan from Luton as well and he's done really well. Yeah, he did. I mean, we were lucky to sort of wangle him out of Luton because he has played a part for them this season. And um, it was good for us to have him to come in. I think he'd give um, the lads a lift, you know, and done well himself. And um, it was a pity uh, that we couldn't uh, retain him. Um, Reece Stodge as well, he's come back from um, Tamworth and um, must be, you know, sort of fighting for a place now. Yeah, well, Reece, I thought, you know, he went out, to be fair to him, he wanted to, he was keen to go out and get some games at Tamworth. His confidence was a little bit low, so he come back. You know, and, and he went on against Altrincham, and I thought he looked he looked lively for 15, 20 minutes he was on. But unfortunately, he picked up a fifth booking, so you know that's curtailed him from the Altrincham game. But at the minute, you know he's a lad that we need in and around us. And um, as I said, we you know numbers wise, we we do need the bodies at the minute. And obviously goalkeeping wise, um, Jazz Singh um, yeah. on loan at Gloucester, and then you've brought in um, Jocelyn maybe and um, non-contract terms. Yeah, I was luck again lucky to get Josh. You know, it just uh, the circumstances that he's Josh's circumstances at the minute it suits him to to be here. Obviously, you know he knows Crichton. We was delighted to get somebody of that experience, and we know all about him from his record at Wrexham. And uh, it gave Jazz a chance to go out and get some games, and and obviously again helped us in terms of the the wages and stuff. And then Josh O'Keefe as well. Um, he's picked up um, quite a nasty injury at Chester by the sounds of it. Yeah, in training, uh, by all accounts, uh, which was, you know, a pity. You know, he's not had a lot of luck in in terms of uh, since he's been here with us. So, I think obviously the concern with him at the minute is we've got to get his injury right. Um, he is still out on loan till till January, but you know, we, he's been back in with Gavin, and obviously, you know, we want to get the, that side of it right for him. His injury. And obviously, elsewhere, Michael Gash will be at the meet and um, yeah. until the start of January, and Sam Long will, will I'll be here from um, Oxford as well. Yes, yeah, Sam's sort of circumstances was obviously with you know in and around the deal with Shay that they offered to try and help us with a with a player, um, but unfortunately Sam he's got no, he doesn't drive uh, and he lives over in in, in Bicester, so it's difficult for him you know to be coming in this time of year with us. So we've got an agreement with them where if we did need him we we can call upon him, but he's in training with them at the minute and. And obviously, you know, we know the circumstances again surrounding um, with Michael Gash. Um, he's got to get himself sorted out. And and again, he's he's a you know a big uh, earner, which they're helping obviously with his wages at Nuneaton. Um, and also, there's Jordan Tonicliffe coming from Sutton Colfall Town, quite a promising defender by the sounds of it. Yeah, Jordan's got a good pedigree, and um, he comes in under the same sort of situation as as the young lads who have came, uh, come here before. So. You know, we'll see how he gets on initially to the end of the season, and uh, you know, there's good good reports about him off, off the clubs he's been with. So uh, hopefully, you know, we can make something of him, and he can be out there and, and contributing. Um, and looking to your next competitive game, um, it's sort of a week on Saturday, and we've got Bradford Park out yeah. again, the FA Trophy. Yeah, there's a massive cheer from the dressing room when uh, the lads knew about that one. But uh, you know, the FA Trophy's um, it's winnable now. You know, um, a lot of the teams sort of in and around the, the top of the league tend to put out that the, the tradition or they've the been putting out weaker teams for some reason. But that's something which, um, you know, it'd be nice to get a run in and uh, we'll be determined to go up to Bradford and uh, try, try and win that game. And then obviously before that, um, there's a bit of a break uh, with mm. no game this weekend. Um, how will like yourself and the management staff and the players be spending that week? Yeah, I think it's come at the right time for us. Uh, we've got a lot of tired legs at the minute, and um, you know, gives us a chance to sort of settle things down a little bit, refocus, uh, ready for the Bradford game. And um, you know, the lads will be training hard this week. Um, they've got a bit of a Christmas thing on the weekend, which has fitted in well. You know, we've worked it so they've got a free weekend and get that out of the way, and then we'll be back ready and uh, firing and doing all we can to to beat Bradford.